you guys excited for 5.2? Hey guys, Vanish here with TGN World of Warcraft, bringing you a video of the upcoming rogue changes for the 5.2 patch. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright, so let's go over the talent tree changes first. Shadow Focus has been changed in that abilities now cost 75% when stealth instead of no energy cost at all before. Nerve Strike reduces only 10% of healing done by the target instead of 25%. Deadly Throw can now interrupt spell casting when used at 3, 4, and 5 combo points, and upon interrupt prevents any spell in that school from being cast for 4, 5, and 6 seconds respectively, instead of 5 combo points and 6 seconds. For the level 60 tier, they took out the preparation talent and made that to be a baseline ability for all rogues. I'm actually pretty excited about this because before this expansion, Shadow Step and Prep were both part of the subspec and I miss being able to refresh my Vanish at least. They did change it a bit though because Cloak of Shadows is no longer in the list of abilities that you can reset. I'll tell you why in a bit. The preparation talent is now replaced by Cloak and Dagger. This is sort of a modified Shadow Step. It will let you use your openers such as Ambush, Garrow, and Cheap Shot from 30 yards away instead of just melee range, causing you to appear behind your target. I'm not sure yet how beneficial this will be compared to the regular Shadow Step because I'd like to be able to Shadow Step while I'm not stealth. The benefit of this though is that Cloak and Dagger has a 5 yard edge over Shadow Step and it has no cooldown. Burst of Speed now costs 30 energy before it was 50 energy. It can now also be used in Stealth. It will break Snare effects although it no longer breaks Root effects. Versatility Talent has now been removed and I'm really sad to see this change because I find it very useful, especially in Battlegrounds for example. It's now replaced by a talent called Mark for Death and this will allow you to mark a target and instantly get 5 combo points on them. This talent has a 1 minute cooldown but if the target dies within a minute, the cooldown will reset. I find this really interesting so I'll definitely be trying this out. Shuriken Toss is now coated by your lethal poison and will auto attack at 75% damage for up to 10 seconds if the enemy is farther than 10 yards away. Now that we're done with the talent tree, let's go over the other rogue changes for this patch, starting with the good stuff first. Remember I told you earlier that Cloak of Shadows won't be reset anymore by prep? It's because it now has a 1 minute cooldown instead of 2 minutes. For our PvP set bonuses, Deadly Brew will now be the 2 piece set bonus and it has the same effects. For a 4 piece set bonus, it will increase our energy by not just 10, but 30! Yay! And with that, all I can think about is ambush, ambush, ambush. Smoke Bomb will now also reduce the damage taken of your allies by 20% while inside your Smoke Bomb. And for the not so good, Blind's cooldown has been increased from 1.5 minutes to 2 minutes. Hmm, I can deal with that. Other changes that are spec specific, Assassinations of Venom's damage has been increased by 20% and Dispatch by 15%. Combat's Vitality now increases attack power by 30% up from 25% and also Blade Flurry has been changed. It now strikes up to 4 nearby targets for 40% of normal damage, changed from 2 targets at 100% damage. Subtlety's Sanguinary Vein now increases the damage the targets take by 20% up from 16%. As of February 20th, those are all the rogue changes that are in the PTR. I'll make another video to reflect significant changes if necessary. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, favorite, and comment on this video. I also want to invite you guys to visit my personal channel. It's youtube.com slash myvanishbroke. And again, this is Vanish from TGN World of Warcraft. Have a wonderful week and until the next video, bye!